Alrighty, welcome back to a playthrough by that one gamer of Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Now, last time we got through the sea and then we found a sunken ship and entered it from through the crow's nest apparently. And now we're going to find Jonathan Jones and get that star piece. So just as a quick note before I begin, I had to stop the video at some point and then go through from the last save point, so there's a slight discrepancy in items, coins, and experience a little bit. So, uh, so here's the new look at this point. You might notice a few discrepancies from the last time, but nothing major. So, alright, so let's get back into the action. Oh, there's a difference in items as well. So, alright, here we go. So, we got a note up here. Squid got a hole. Ship's going down. Oh, that'd be scary. Oh, there's a save point right here. Son of a... I probably skipped this uh, area over here. Well, that made our health a lot easier. After they squid attacked them, they managed to trap it into the treasure cellar. Hmm. So either live without the treasure or die with the treasure. Take your pick. Alright, here comes the next part. Ooh, ghosts. Lock with a password consisting of six letters. Cipher it via six hints. So, now well, let's talk about one of these guys. Maybe kind of early, just a little bit. Those are Reaper attacks. Now these guys, so Reaper, Reacher, and Straw. I don't believe there's a palette swap of Reacher in the game. So Malo is most effective against these guys, against pretty much any ghost type. You can't quite kill most of them on his own yet, but if you damage them first with a physical attack, then they're mostly done, done, when they are done for. Reap, uh, Reaper not guaranteed yet. Look at that. Reaper has about a, Reacher has about 130, 150 HP. Well, that hurt. So, uh, let's see, Wells up to like, 13, give or take, we'll be able to take him out in one hit with a Thunderbolt. And look at that. The ghost, you can get pure water, make an instant kill, or sell for 75 coins. Heck yeah. And uh, here's a small thing I didn't notice until several times after playing it. See this dry bones over here just sitting by itself? You can actually talk to it. Just a pile of dusty old bones. Think again! And he comes back to life. And uh, these guys cannot be killed via physical attack. They can only be killed via magic. And Malo comes very handy. Uh, only takes two magic flower points so I to take him out, so that's why he's very handy, plus they do a lot of damage too. And that is the only dry bones that completely disappears after you beat them. All others, they just collapse and then they reassemble themselves, and you have to fight them all over again. What's this say? Different people, they'll be pretty tough to solve. Maybe impossible. Yeah, right. Oops. Alright. So, again, the same enemy formation before. This time when we take them out, we get the usual coin experience and all that. Ooh, an axe mushroom. He just collapses into a heap. I think we need to, uh... Let's see... Let's give it to Bowser for the experience booster. I like to keep the experience uh, close to, close to each other. So, 
this place is one thing this place is riddled of is coins and a lot of coins. Fight one of these rats here. Yes. Ah, you suck. Death Sickle is impossible to uh, dodge against, kind of like with that poison technique that uh, Whenever Mario has a status effect, you'll notice that when Bowser threw Mario, he didn't shrink, he threw like a very miniature Mario doll. It's a small uh, glitch when it comes to that. But it still does the same damage overall. Oh. Alley rat. Haha, <laughs> once again. Bastards. Well, let's fight it the rest of them. Just for the heck of it. Oh, well that douche decided to run off. Look. Coward. Here's Gordon, the palette swap of the... Uh... I can't remember what his name was from the lines. That might have been driving me nuts. <laughs> but you get seven experience for beating him. Really? Come on, man. It doesn't feel like it. I'm gonna see what a fire orb does. This is a big blind big demon thing. Mario. We got four HP left. Well, let's heal him up before he gets himself killed. We got a lot of those J boxes in but really three in a row? No clue what would be in each box. So, Alright, here's the part with the six clues. You can tell which door it is by the number of boxes by each door there. So this is the first one. You can bypass the ghost here just by walking to the right of it. So all you have to do here, this Koopa will follow you around. So just follow to this point and then walk towards the box here. And voila! Magellan. That's in the word. Magellan was famous for circumnavigated the world back in like 1519 to 1521, something like that, who definitively proved that the Earth was round, not flat. I don't think I messed that up there. Yep. Even after Christopher Columbus uh, first set foot uh, around the North American area. He actually did not set foot in America. Just a little trivia there. People were still skeptical of the world being uh, flat, of the world being round. But when Magellan went literally all the way around the world, from one point to the other, finally got people to convince him. So, and he ended up dying actually during his trip. So this third part here, the three-dimensional maze, this can often be tricky. So here's what you want to do for the first time. It's basically two points. So uh, we we'll jump a little bit, holding up, then right, and then hold, jump down. Let's see how one best describe this. He's trying to jump up. First, jump 
up and then right up, right up a little bit. And you have to make kind of a bit of a hop over a hole that you can't see. So that's like jump and then hop to the left. And once you get to this part, it's very easy. You just go over here, lightly go along the edges here. And go in a kind of a U shape from here. So down left, left, and up right. And there we go. Let's try it again. So again, from up here, hold up till you can't run anymore. Jump a little bit, and jump to the right. Up a little bit, right again, up a little bit, right. Again, whoops, I fell down. You have to make a little bit of jump first, and then move up to the wall on the left. Makes it a lot easier. You, so, like, at any point, if you press X, like, say, if I move down here, you can sort of see where he is. So I'm gonna go a little bit higher here. You can see he's a little bit higher in elevation. So that'll help you pop you a little clue as to how it works and how it looks from within. And what do we got? A royal syrup. Replenish the FP entirely. Degama, two vowels. Degama, Degama. Who the heck was Degama? I forgot. No trivia I can give here. And here's a little halfway point. That chest contains a whole bunch of coins. Let's see, what's my experience here? I'm gonna give it. Uh, one, let me switch it to Molo now. Now this Dry Bones here has five enemies. So, always make sure to have Molo. You get a crap, you can really build up your experience here. You just keep fighting this enemy formation every time. Usually the uh, Griefers. Uh, why, why did I say Griefers before? Getting mixed up again. Griefers. So again, for me, attack him first. And then. Well, apparently, Bowser's speed got it. I'm not looking to be interested in them. So take care of all of those at once. So go from there. Reacher also has. High enough HP that Malo can't quite take him out in one hit. Jeez, they sure love that blizzard attack, don't they? What if they like going to DQ? DQ something different. <laughs> I like their latest uh, $5 and $6 lunch value. A certain burger or chicken thing, plus a drink, fries, and a hot little blizzard, small frosty thing. Awesome! I don't think it's a blizzard per se, but just good ice cream. Sure, I'll double, try to double my coins. I lost it. Nope, got it wrong. Oh well. I'll just get the coins here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, One hundred coins. Ooh, Crystal does a little bit more damage than Blizzard. Knock it out. So, hit Reacher there. Somehow we get 58 damage there. Kind of weak a little bit, and just gets weaker as the game progresses. You might do like more than one now, but by the time you get to like Monstro Town, you usually only do one at most. Alright, let's see. Let's go to Mario for a couple fights. And here's the. Our 
shopkeeper guy from before who somehow beat Mario over here. Let's see, what don't I need now? No, I don't need pure waters. Man, look at all this stuff. Anything here I could use? That for the heck of it. No, don't think so. Let's see. Anything else? Nope, guess not. Something to do with the sea, huh? You try to deduce your way through. Yeah, thanks. Okay, this fourth one. Carefully follow the coins, but don't go too fast. Otherwise, if you go too fast, if you get too ahead, you won't get anything. You have to restart from the beginning. Yeah, it looks like a Tetris piece there, doesn't it? That fourth door. So how many were that? I think it was like 240 coins. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nope, 160 coins, huh? I was off of this. Four consonants, huh, Dagama? I'm gonna do some, uh, go to Wikipedia or something to figure out who the heck Dagama is. Alright, so now here's another quick one. Just This will activate the first cannon, and jump up to hit the next one, which activates the next cannon, and so forth. Use the shadows for guidance to see where the cannonball's gonna be. Ooh, I got a mushroom. Van Dorn. Two continents are side by side. Four continents, two vowels. This one, walk to the left to avoid them. Let's see. How oh, am I experience wise? Okay, I need to fight these guys to get to level 12. But uh, for now, I'm going to save, and then I'll continue with in the next video. So, uh, see you soon!